in the Carolina rig, it's a little bit different than when I'm fishing with, I like to use a, a drop line rig, um, so that bite's a little bit different, so I'm uh, changing it up this morning, feeling that bite, it's a little different, you know, because you got to feel that line get picked up, you know, when I'm using the drop line rig, I think I feel them a little bit better, but I think uh, maybe this Carolina rig gives them a little bit of a better presentation, but because this spot is so rocky, uh, that's why I use the drop line rig here quite often, but uh, changing it up this morning. So you can see Carolina rig, uh, shout out to Les over on Addiction to the Wild, because that's where I got some of my early tips on sheep's head fishing. So uh, Les, I'm honoring you this morning with the uh, Carolina rig style here at Snow Scott. All right, so I got to get a better grip on them there. You can see fish down, but I do want to give you a shot. If you see up in the roof of that mouth there, that's what I'm always telling you when you set that hook, how you have to go for broke. Cause you can see there are teeth in the roof of that fish's mouth. If you don't set that hook and go for broke, you can forget about it. That fish is not gonna be going home with you. So I wanted you to get that shot, just so you are again aware of what I've been talking about. All right, nice fish here this morning. All right, let's keep it going. All right, welcome back. Chris coming at you. You can see my morning catch now all cut up and ready to go. You notice that I kept the, uh, the carcass there. Uh, a lot of meat on that, so I cut the uh, you know, cut the halves off and you can see I left the rib cage in and the head's there. I'm not going to cook it, but just there for your visual pleasure. So I'll bring it back to you when I got it all fricasseed. All right, stay tuned. All right, eat up. Uh -huh. 